For the markdown, so markdown means the deducted amount from the original price of the item. Okay, so markdown denoted by M sub D is equal to M sub O, which is the cost price minus the selling price. Okay, so for us to get the markdown, we're just going to subtract the cost price and the selling price. When we say mark markdown again, it is the deducted amount from the original price. Okay, usually, pag nagmamarkdown, nagkakaroon tayo doon ng discount. Ito yung pagbaba ng price. Okay, uh, isa sa mga reason bakit nagkakaroon ng markdown is because of bumababa yung demand. Okay, hindi nagiging mabenta yung isang item, kaya nagkakaroon sila ng discount to catch attention of the customer. Okay, for us to get the rate of the markdown, markdown over the cost price times 100%. Again, uh, markdown is based on the cost price. Okay, So, forget the rate of the markdown. We're just going to get the quotient of the markdown of, and the quotient price times 100%. Okay, let's have problem number one. The price of an item which was originally sold at 425 pesos was reduced to 357 pesos. What is the markdown rate? Okay, so this down our given. So for 125, so sabi it is originally sold. So meaning that is your cost price. Okay. And it was reduced by 357, which is that is your markdown. So we are looking for the rate of the markdown. So for the formula of the rate of the markdown, we have markdown over cost price times 100%. Okay, so for our solution, we have the rate is equal to the markdown, which is 357, all over the cost price, which is 425, times 100%. Okay, you just input that on your calculator and you will get 84%. So the rate of the markdown is 84%. Again, to verify your answer or your rate is correct, you, dahil nga ang markdown rate is based by the cost so you just have to multiply the rate to the cost price dapat ang lalabas na value is yung markdown okay since our cost price is 425 our rate is 84% or point zero, uh, point 0.84 pag kinuha yung product the, uh, the answer would be 400, uh, sorry, 375. That is your markdown. Okay, just to counter check your work. Next, Carl was able to buy a pair of shoes regularly priced at 35 for only 2,100. So, sabi dyan, si Carlo daw na bibili niya yung shoes, a pair of shoes by 350 a uh, 300 a uh, 3,500 rather for regular price so that me meaning that is your cost price okay and now for only 2,100 so that's your selling price again Carl was able to buy a pair of shoes regularly priced at 35 for only nabibili niya yung class ng 2100 so we are looking for letter A we're looking for the markdown kani pagbaba ng price how much is yung na discount niya and what was the rate of the markdown na, uh, uh, now we're going to list down all the formula so for us to get the markdown we're just going to subtract the cost price and the selling price for the rate get the quotient of the markdown and the cost price times by 100 and put percent sign okay so for our solution okay for us to get the markdown our cost price is 35 
minus the selling price which is 2100 and you will get a markdown of 1400 so yung na list ni Carlo is 1400 okay for you to get the rate we have the quotient of the markdown which is 1.4 over the cost price which is 3.5 times 100 copy percent sign and you will have a rate of 40% okay again to counter check your answer whether your rate is correct okay so dahil ang base nga natin sa rate of the markdown is the cost price so get the product of the cost price and the rate dapat ang lalabas dyan si markdown okay since our cost price is 3.5 times 40% or 0.4 or 0.40 the answer is 1,400 okay so ang nalas niya is 1.4 so 40% of the cost price is 1.4 okay so third Jared purchased a laptop for 22,000 after a few months he purchased a new laptop and decided to sell his older laptop at a price that is 40% lower 40% lower than its original price how much should he sell his older laptop okay so Let's list down our given. So we have 22,000. That is our cost price. Okay. And our rate, sabi dyan, the rate is rate of the markdown to class. No, kasi the keyword is lower than its original price. So he wants to sell his laptop at 40% lower than its original price. So our rate is 40%. Okay, so we are looking for the selling price. Okay, so again, list down our given. We have markdown is equal to cost price minus selling price. Rate of the markdown is equal to markdown over cost price times 100%. So for our solution, we cannot use the first formula because wala tayong value ni markdown. Okay? So to class our we're just solving this by the formula. Using the formula, we are going to de uh, derive formula of the selling price like what we did in the markup. Okay? So, since ang magagamit natin ay si rate, so we have rate is equal to markdown all over cost price times 100%. Okay? So, since naka-experience na tayo sa ng derivation ng, ng selling price sa markup, so we all know na proportion si rate at si markdown over cost, uh, over cost price. Okay? At alam din natin na si markdown is equal to cost price minus the selling price. Okay? So, dahil proportion sila, we can do cross multiplication. We have R times the cost price is equal cost price minus selling price. Okay? And then, since our tang ang target natin is si selling price, we have to equate this into selling price. So, transpose natin si selling price since negative siya para mag-positive siya. Okay? So, we have cost price minus rate times cost price. Since positive siya dito, pag tinanspose natin, magni-negative. Okay? Common factor is cost price. So, 1 minus R. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung selling price, our formula from the derivation, we have cost price times 1 minus R. 
since we have the value of the cost price which is 22,000 times 1 minus the rate which is 40% or 0 0.40 Okay, and you will get, when you input that on your calculator, you will get the selling price of 13000 13, Okay, so that is your selling price or kagaya nga na ginawa natin sa markup you can do the other way around pero I'm advising you na use this formula instead okay uh, so gawin, gawin lang natin class to prove lang okay first thing pala let's prove na proportion sila okay so since our rate is 40% dapat equal siya kay markdown over cost price since our markdown is cost price minus the selling price so our cost price is 22,000 minus the selling price which is 13,200 over cost price na 2,000 uh, 22,000 okay so 22,000 minus 13,200 the answer is 800 8,000 rather 8,800 over 22,000 so yung markdown yung pag uh, yung markdown is 800 uh, 8,800 rather okay then get the quotient of this you will get 0 0.4 then convert it into rate we have 40% so they are proportion okay now we can solve the other way around gusto ko lang ipakita class Okay, so we have rate is equal to markdown over cost price times 100%. So our rate is 40%. We don't have the value of the markdown. So si cost price is 22,000 and 1 times 100%. Cancel the percent sign. We have 40, 40 markdown over 22 thousand times one hundred then ihiwalay natin si twenty two thousand magiging one over twenty two thousand times markdown times one hundred okay so we have forty is equal to one hundred over twenty two thousand markdown then divide both side by one hundred over twenty two thousand Para makancel natin si 100 over 22,000 sa tabi ni markdown. So, this one will be equal to 1 which is si markdown. And then, if you get the quotient of 40 over 100, uh, 40 all over 100 over 22,000 and you will get let's input on, our, on the calculator. we will get the markdown of 8,800. 8, so, since we know the markdown already, balik tayo dito sa first formula, which is mark... Uh, let me change the color of my pen. Which is markdown is equal to cost price minus selling price. So, formulate nyo lang ulit yung formula, equate by selling price, so, markdown plus cost price is equal selling price. As, uh, no. Uh, dahil na transpose siya, negative na siya. Okay. So, our markdown is Okay, wait lang class. Balik tayo dun. May mali ako. Ulitin natin tong part na to. Okay. Ang i-transpose natin si selling price kasi negative siya. Eh. So, selling price para mag-positive siya, cost price minus markdown. Okay. So, our cost price is 22,000 minus the markdown na 8,800 and you will get 13,200. So, that's your selling price. 
Okay po, so that's the other way around on how you're going to solve. But again, I'm encouraging everyone to use this one since na-derive na natin yung formula.